years, if not longer hey guys, than that. Thank you for listening here again. So if we're um, spinning that fast, 20 so to 30 production builds a day, and they're stocks, doing four um, or five a year, uh, put up, put up um, a you tell me, is this thing going to, this gap going to converge and close, or is it just going to be more and more and more pronounced over time? Yeah, right. Like is, is that then similar to almost like uh, Mexico, Tesla the versus, say, the legacy automakers, where, where the legacy automakers are still buy, right? stuck with in this case, the internal like, combustion engine assembly lines and sort of that grow, that mentality? Grow, how do they transition grow, compared to how quickly you might be able to transition like Tesla? Their, um, the I, I think the metaphor eight, does hold. And again, I don't mean to flat us. Tesla's an extraordinarily incredible company. You know, I wish that one day we were worthy of that comparison. But this article. Elements of it do ring NASDAQ. true to me. And this is very important. Because I've had a lot of time cash, um, like that I've been able to spend with incumbent insurance companies, with those large insurance team, companies, and actually got pretty friendly cash, with several of their CEOs, some so of whom invested in Lemonade. What, what um, is important and is who has more cash? They are smart people. They see the writing of the wall. One of them, CEO of one of the largest insurance companies in the world, said to me, I fancy your chances more than I fancy my own. Now you got to tell us who it is. Yeah. He was talking about how, yeah, he's the CEO of this incredible company, and they just announced record results and all of that kind of stuff. STZ. But he saw the writing on the wall. He saw that he's got 100,000 employees who are moving at a pace that he just can't affect. He's got a board of directors that is made up of investors who just want 5% dividends and don't confuse us with bold things. So he doesn't get board support for bold moves. He doesn't get team support for board moves. The culture is one of legacy preservation, not business transformation. He's got all these systems dating back. He said to me, we spend $3 billion a year on IT. $3 billion a year. The end which the day, is a stunning amount of money, and they have and nothing to, to have show for it. It is cash standing still, spaghetti code, code, right. code that dates back so to the 80s, COBOL, or systems that don't work, and it's just... Now. I, I said to him, you know, we're building a number black box. Is, you've built a, uh, you've built a, a <laughs> sorry. I said to him, we're built a black box. You've CRO built a black hole. N. You just pull oh, stuff into it, and that's G really true. And w he's smart, and he knows exactly what he's doing. But it's just the innovators' Fira dilemma. Fira and I'm sure that General Motors Fira and all of the um, car makers, million, I'm sure they're led by smart million, people who wish they didn't have a hundred years of I legacy, cultural legacy, I technology legacy, business it architecture it that they just wouldn't build that way today, TV, but they do. TV, and they're TV. stuck with that legacy. And that's just a problem. Yeah, if if you really that, think you know, about yeah, this is true of Tesla, it's true of Lemonade. Yeah, so much has changed so in the world in the 21st century. It's just transformed. It's one of those once in an eon transformation. You knew the Middle Ages. You are this company. The industrial be revolution, and, you know, go back to the, the farming Europe. and domestication. And, it's um, one of those huge transformations for humankind that there is a before and after and you can't compare them, the whole digital transformation. And companies that were established before that hit were just not built for this era and they're in catch-up mode and they're dealing with legacy that they wish they didn't have and it's not their fault and they're led by smart people, but they are wrong-footed going into the 21st century. Wow. I mean, that's something that I've, I mean, that is, that was such an incredible explanation.